So the steps to getting on to Medicare. Number one, I would recommend to go ahead and get enrolled in the Medicare on Social Security site, ssa.gov. Okay, <clears throat> get enrolled as far as getting your account set up. Uh, you can get it set up and then save it, and then later on it's ready to go so you can get enrolled into your Part B as employee. Okay, that's one thing. Number two, what I would recommend is first decide if it's something where you're retiring, if you're going to continue to carry your group insurance and make that your primary care, or if you want to go ahead and get on Medicare. And the reason I say this is because if you're gonna carry your group insurance, typically your group insurance is gonna be your primary. And people enroll in Medicare, and then they realize, wait a minute, Medicare's not paying, and it's because Medicare is required to be your primary. Now, just as a side note, I will tell you, almost always, pretty much, most of the time, it's always gonna be more beneficial for you to get enrolled into Medicare and have a secondary insurance just because of the fact there are no co-pays, there's no deductibles, there's no referrals, there's no out-of-pocket expenses. So that's just a, a side note then. Also, what I would recommend is be informed. Be informed of really what is involved in Medicare and getting on Medicare, um, especially if you're gonna make the decision of staying on group or if you're gonna go ahead and get on Medicare because there's been a lot of Medicare changes, which leads me to this. I would get with a licensed professional, that's what we do here at the Benefit Link, is we help people understand the changes that have taken place in Medicare, the benefits of getting on Medicare, how to work through the, the Medicare maze, and really how to get the whole process started. I think that's the most important thing to know because there are certain enrollment periods that you have, there's election periods you have, we can get into that later, but there's penalties that are added if you don't get onto Medicare at the proper time. So really be informed and the best way to do that is get with professionals that really are in the know of all the changes and the specifications that are required. Not at the benefit link. I mean, I'm sure there are places that it does, but this is a, a service of no charge. We are considered advocates. We're licensed advocates across the United States. We don't work for the insurance companies. We work for the people. And we feel the same way they do. It's uh, healthcare is a really concerning thing in this particular time in our life. And so we have the same cares, the same values of concern, and so we do not have any fees whatsoever. So if you're choosing to stay on your group, do you have to sign up for Medicare? You're automatically, once you turn 65, Part A, which is your hospitalization, as long as you've worked 10 years, then automatically that Part A is gonna go into effect. That's your hospitalization. On the Part B, if you're going to continue to work, you are not required to take out Part B. Again, I encourage people to really have a comparison of what is it like to keep the group insurance versus go ahead and get enrolled in Medicare Part B and let that be your primary. Because even with group insurance, even if it's a lower premium, in your mind you're thinking that's lower. There are still co-pays, there are still deductibles, there are still out-of-pocket expenses. And most of the time, not always, but most of the time, once people turn 65, in their mind, they're not thinking, I'm gonna work another 20 years. I mean, the majority of the people I talk to, they'll say, well, you know, I might work a couple more years or until I'm drawn my full, my full Social Security. And to me, when they find out the benefits of going ahead and getting on Medicare, number one, you'll find that cost-wise, your out-of-pocket turns out less. But number two, just having that process done so when they get ready to retire, they're not having all the emotional, I'm leaving after being somewhere for 25 years and now what do I have to do? Because Medicare just all by itself can be a little bit emotional as far as figuring it all out. So I think most of the people really feel peace of mind to go ahead and have that taken care of. <music>